Hello and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today we're going to take a look at using the BME 280 S atmospheric pressure, temperature, and humidity sensor. Now this can be found on eBay and Amazon. I got this one, it was just a little over a dollar, shipping included. They're very inexpensive. Um, I'm not sure why, but the particular one I got, I cannot get it to read humidity. I had a few problems with libraries, but when we get over to looking at the library and, and reading the data, I'll go over um, what I found and how I was able to get this to work. Because the brand newest libraries that are out there, I think are made for a slightly different variation of what is commonly out there and expensively. It's made for, um, well, the one I went with eventually was the Spark, um, Spark Fun, I think it was. Um, when we get over, I'll look. Um, we'll, I'll show you what library we use. But uh, yeah, I had a little bit of difficulty. And if you're watching this, that's probably what happened as well. It uh, The brand new libraries that are available out there just don't work. But I found an older one that works. And what we'll do is I'll show you how to hook it up quick, which is simple. And then we'll go over to the computer and we'll bring up... Um, the Arduino IDE and I'll show you how to get the library and, uh, and we'll install it and we'll see what all readings we get off of this but uh, all right so um, you're just going to need an Arduino board I just grabbed my good old trusty Uno for this uh, tutorial I got four jumper wires and what we have is they're labeled on here there's one two three four five six pins um, we're going to be using this in the I2C configuration, so we're just going to use the first four pins here. We're not going to use the last two. So our first one is VCC. Our next pin is ground. And then we got SCL and SDA, and they're labeled. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because the rating is really small, but they are labeled. Sorry, I'm going to... Use this reddish color for the VCC. I'm going to use green for the ground. And then I'm going to use the white for the SCL. And use the gray for the SDA. So the gray is the SDA. Plug that in on the Arduino Uno. Up in the corner, you have an SDA and an SCL plug. On uh, some boards like the uh, the Nano, it's A4 and A5. Um, which particular one is SCL and SDA? Um, actually, in the library, I think it tells you. Uh, otherwise, you can just look on the schematics for whatever board you're using. But for the Uno, if it says SCL and SDA up here in the corner, just go ahead and use those pins. And we also have a ground pin right there, which is convenient. And then I'm going to connect it to 3.3 volt. Now, from what I understand, this can be used with 5 volt. That's the maximum rating. But um, if possible, I would hook this at the 3.3 volt. It does work fine. And it will probably last longer, not having as much voltage put through it. Because like I said, 5 volt is supposed to be the max. So, all right. We are connected. All I got to do is plug in my USB. And uh, unfortunately, there are no indicator LEDs on this at all. So they're, you're just going to have to assume that it's on. If you're not getting any readings, I'll check your cables because they could have went and put, you know, that one extra penny worth of an LED on there, but they didn't. All right, let's go over to the computer then. And uh, I'll show you what library I found um, that works, seems to work the best so far. I haven't went through all. There are a few libraries out there. I just didn't want to spend a whole week working on this because I got some projects I want to do with this, including um, I got some um, OLED screens 
Um, that's something new we're going to be doing videos on in this channel and uh, also going to use LCD screens and some other stuff. And we're going to play around with the sensor doing a couple different videos. So, all right, let's go to the computer. I'll catch you there in just a second. Okay, so what we're going to need first is the library. And this is where I found it. Now, I tried going under the, uh, the Arduino IDE and going under Sketch and Manage Libraries and searching through there. I did not have much luck with those libraries. I tried a few of them in there. I did a little bit of research and found, um, as you notice, this module looks a little bit different. Now, the older libraries will work with that module that we seen at the beginning of this video. The newer ones seem to only work with this. That is what I have found so far. I do believe that's how it works. Um, unless I just got a module that there's something messed up not working. But um, now there is also two addresses you can these can have. And I some of the newer libraries, I thought maybe that was a thing because you couldn't just go and change it. I actually went into the library itself and changed the, the code in there, changed the addresses, and then went back and then re-ran the sketch and it still wouldn't work. And I'm not talking, you know, in the Arduino IDE, I went into the library itself. I'm not gonna explain how that's all done. Um, there's videos out there if you're interested in how to do that. But I still couldn't get them work. But what I found is I did go here and I got a library off of here You'll, um, this is on GitHub. Um, there will be a link in the description below. Um, <laughs> it'll actually bring you to the next page we're going to click on. We're going to go and click right here under releases. And the link I will leave you will bring you to this particular page. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down here. This is the newest version, the version 1.2.0 that I got to work and none of these ones up here could I get to work. I don't know why. I, like I said, I went into the files in the library and changed the address. I thought that's what it was. Still couldn't get them to work. I wasn't going to just sit and mess around with it all day long. I just need the basic readings. And this does work. So you'll download the zip file. You just click on that right there. And then once you got that, we can open up our Arduino IDE, which I already have it opened up. So of course, what you'll do is, whoops. What you'll do is you will go, you know, under the sketch, after you download it, include library, and go to the add zip library, and then direct, you know, it to where you saved that downloaded file. Then once you're done, you can go under the file, go under examples, and you want the I2C read all data, which we got right here. Now, I already went ahead and uploaded this, um, but I went and closed it and reopened it just so I can show you. You are most likely, um, I would go ahead and upload it and try it, and if it does not work, Right here, you see this 0x77. Now, this is what, on the newer ones, you, it wasn't defined in the void setup or anywhere. So I went into the library and changed it to, instead of the 77, to 76. That's what most of these cheaper ones, the address is set at. So change that. Um, I would try it first, but most, most likely, if yours looks like mine, just go ahead off the bat and change it. If it doesn't work after that, um, I'll switch it back. Next, I notice I do not particularly run the serial baud rate. I prefer the 9600 myself. So make sure to change this to match whatever is in your serial monitor. And then you will cl click on uploading it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and re-upload it anyway. It should only take a second here. There we go. Now we will open our serial monitor. Bring it into frame here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the auto scroll off. And here we go. Um, it is 
0.33 degrees Fahrenheit in my house right now. Or if you prefer Celsius, it's 17.96. And the nice thing about this library, it gives you everything. Uh, you know, the American or metric. Um, except for the pressure. The pressure is only in the PA. I forget what that stands for. I'm not a meteorologist. Um, our altitude in meters and feet, I'm not too sure. I've heard that because it, it uses the pressure to determine the altitude. So it's not the most reliable. It's just something you can play with with this. Um, from what I understand, it's the temperature is fairly reliable and the pressure is. But uh, I wouldn't, you know, count your life on the, the altitude. And as you can see here, I'm getting, I cannot get a reading on the humidity. And uh, I tried even some of the older versions of this library that would also work. And I could not get the humidity to work at all. I uh, hope you have a great day. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this information useful. And remember, this is very important, to have fun building.